All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Yone top lane in Season 12. So what you want to run right now is Lethal Tempo. You want to take Triumph, Alacrity, Last Dance, Second Wind, and you want to be taking Revitalize. And along with this entire setup, we are also running Attack Speed, Adaptive, and we are taking Armor. Now, currently we are facing off an interesting matchup, which I guess all of you guys know, which, which is like super broken at the moment. Uh, which is Grave's top lane. This is honestly a pretty good matchup, but I have a few things to say about this one. Yon is like more of a um, scaling champion in this matchup, rather than it being like a super 1v9. Because Graves is like all in power. Like in the pre-6, like a lot of all in power. So yeah, with that said, like we're going to be mostly playing out the laning phase around here. Um, as much as we can, and then when we turn level 6 and we eventually get the uh, Lifesteal Scepter and we get the Berserker's Greaves, uh, that's when we start playing aggressive. So like, until then, we're just gonna be uh, chilling. We're not gonna make like big moves. You know, some in some cases, we're gonna be using my E to like dodge the Graves Q. At most, and uh, we'll just back off after. Yep. So whenever Graves like pops the Q is when we fall back. When he pops it, we can actually go for a trade. Okay. The reason why I went for a trade like this is because Graves was going for the cannon. So if we specifically E onto that moment and we all in the Graves, then we can actually cancel his cannon and create like a small advantage. Got my E again, so we can mess around with him. Back out. If you cannot take the damage on your own, like you can't pull the damage, then just back out. It's much better. You don't want to receive like damage that you don't need to. I like how this guy is having the, the push against me, but it's not really helping out for him. Not bad. Let's see if I can hold it. Okay. Apparently, like, Graves is going for Lee Sin right now. Oh, whoops. I missed that one. My bad. So, I could, like, move up to my jungle now and see if I can help, but I would literally, like, mess up my lane for that one. Not gonna do it. Let's push it out. I'm gonna slow push this one. I want the next wave to arrive. I'm assuming that a Mumu is gonna go topside now because we don't have vision there yet. And he might use the, the the plant. It's not there currently, so that's great. Oh, we're gonna miss that one. My bad. Let's go back to base. Now the first item that I always encourage you guys buying. It kind of depends on like the matchup you're facing off, but in general um, you either go for Berserker's Greaves or you go for the Lifesteal Scepter. So let me just explain this. If you're in a matchup that is incredibly easy or heavily relies on, um, on movement speed and attack speed, that's where you go for Berserker's Greaves. So think about like ranged matchups for example. If you go Berserker's Greaves you just all end them, you win. Um, if you want like a more safe scenario, uh, I actually encourage you go to go for Life Susceptor because this gives you sustain. And with Yon, you're going to be fighting a lot, so sustain is very crucial. Especially into the Grace matchup, you know. Okay. We didn't dodge it. I'm gonna place a ward down specifically here. I think it's gonna walk into it. Nice, we hold it. And we back out. So the trick is to do like as much damage as you can and then backing out before you receive the damage to make it worth.
I could all in him right now. Okay, he's gone back. Interesting. Well, the lane is in my advantage now. We have the... Uh, we are currently far ahead of Grace because we have the full health bar ready. I think this guy's running on like 60% roughly. Oh, he's going for a TP. Okay. Well, we don't have a ward right now, so we just have to take it slowly. We went for Noon Coover, and that's a long sword. Okay. Not bad. We still win those traits because we have lifesteal. He doesn't have this stuff. I could have all in him, but I didn't. Because chance are high, he's going to get away anyway. Now we just wait. So the trick right now is to simply farm off for the Berserker's Greaves. So until then, we're just chilling. Okay. We queued this one. Gotta make sure to life so back from this one. From the trade we just had. Yeah, like once again, Graves is a champion that heavily, you know, <laughs> relies on like 1v9 in early game. If he doesn't get those 1v9s done, then he's pretty much done. You know, Graves is a good scaling champion, but does not outscale a Yone at all. You know, that's where we take the advantage. Oh, Momo is currently in mid. Good to know. Wait a second. Not bad. It's gonna look into all inning me. Oh, the inside step it. Gotcha. Thank you. So now we get back to pushing it. You can kind of like get the idea about Yon. You're pretty much playing it slowly in the in the laning phase. You're you have to rely on like how your opponent plays it. You know, some people have some very awkward positioning and you can easily take them out. You know, this Graves took a little bit longer because he generally played like pretty safe. Let's get some plates. We don't have to worry about TP because he uh, already used it. Perfect. Now we go back to base. So we're going to go for Berserker's Greaves and we will also get like two long swords. There we go. I'm going to TP this one. This guy has a lot of wave clear, so... The uh, matchup is going to be a lot easier now. Uh, the only difference is now that this Graves also has sustain. The matchup will change a just a little. I kind of want Lee Sin to be here. I win that one. <laughs> we got two pots. He doesn't have that. Let's see what he's going to do. If I can bait Grace's E, I can directly all in. Oh, close. Very, very close. He allowed me to like stack up my little tempo. Smart. Uh, Momu's down here, so we have to back off. Maybe we can all in this guy. Wanna hold it? Uh, this one's gonna be tricky. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I, I thought it was going to be very tricky because the Silas already has like a lot of kills. He was already like very strong. Uh, he was like 3-0. I was actually expecting to 
be at least close to like dying there, but we overpowered him like really hard. Get two of those. And we push it and we go back. Awesome. Let's get back. So yeah, this time we, we have the shield bow. I'd say like this is the turning point of the game. If you can get your shield bow on Yone, it's pretty much settled. Shield bow is like the ultimate item for Yone. If, if you can get your hands on this one, I'd say like you can probably all in 80% of top lane. Um, it still really depends on like how much of a lead you have, but you can get the picture. Okay, just gonna. He wants to check out if he could push it. Of course not. It's not here anymore. Cool. I can just push this one, and force him. Last one. I sustain this back up. Now we're gonna take a jungle camp. We have like two pots remaining as well. Hmm. Doesn't show up here. I was honestly expecting Grace to be showing up here for a second, but yeah, apparently he went back to base. Fine. Yeah, but we are, um, in terms of like farming, we also have like a 30 CS lead right now, so it's getting huge. Getting the final plates now. The only thing that I would really like to see is having a Lee Sin kind of playing around topside so that I can prepare myself for a 1v2, or I mean a 2v2, but... I got him. Or not. Close. <laughs> you got lucky, man. He survived it. Not bad for him. Get this into the wave again. That's the TP from Graves. Let's go back. Uh, what is the circle around Yone? Well, the circle is the lethal tempo, which you see sometimes. If you get fully stacked the lethal tempo, that's where you see the circle. No fate, no destiny. So the next item of Yone um, is kind of situational. Like, usually when you play Yone, you want to go for Infinity Edge as the second item. Um, but depending on the game that you're facing off, depending on the champ... We are playing against Graze right now, which is definitely going for like a lot of healing items, as you can already tell. Um, that is where you want to go for a Mortal Reminder, so you can actually counter that. Okay. Well, we can't really TP that. Can't, uh, can't actually do anything with that stuff. Hmm. I'm going to push the next wave too. I want Lee Sin to dive this guy. Get geared up. I got you. I could have killed him. I had my W. <laughs> but Grace like walks away with like another like 10 HP or something like that. Bro, this Grace is like the, the most lucky person that I've seen in a while. Okay. All right, let's go back. Ooh, that Grace is like, uh, he's been able to walk away from me about three times in a row right now. 
You gotta be really lucky for that stuff. Uh, just guess that. 100%. Uh, never mind, actually. Never mind. Uh, he could use it better than me. So I'll just give it to him. Grave should be showing up here, if we're lucky. Oh, he went to the Herald. I'm assuming that Omumu is going to be here now. Pretty sure. Let's go back. Man, even Graves has kills right now, which is insane. He has like three kills. Unbelievable. That guy is like struggling against me so hard, but he's actually managed to get kills in this game. What about bot lane? We got the advantage of having TP. Wait a second, I'm gonna move there anyway. Uh, never mind. Or maybe. Nope. Nothing we can get right there. Sometimes to save someone. That that's gonna be a drake for them. Let's go top side. So yeah, we're definitely having a very big lead over Graves, but man, this game is uh, this game is going to be very challenging. They have a very hard scaling team comp, and we have a team comp which is kind of more towards lane. Like, Yone is a really good scaling champ, but my team in general is just really bad late game. They could be coming topside, so forced to go back again. Wow, that Silas actually ran it down pretty hard. I have no idea what he's doing down there. <laughs> Trying to like fight my whole team 1v5. A banquet of sorrow, Always find it like so sad uh, so like satisfying seeing like Silas Blaze trying to 1v9. If we are lucky here, then he won't know that I'm standing down here. Okay. There's people coming topside. A Grace is never that confident in walking up to you. Yep. No one down here. Oh, this guy's like walking straight up in a tri bush. A Momo could have been in there. Potentially. Oh, missed it. I do not okay, we go back again. We uh we don't have opportunity so far to um to get any plays off currently, cause these guys are obviously way stronger than my team is. There is no time. Nope. Fortunately, not a chance for me. This Grace just plays it very safe. This Graves is just playing it far to safe. But it's fine because I can get jungle camps anyway. It's not that bad for me. Because there was a rep buff. We have like a, a tiny 40 says lead over Graves currently. I wish it was more. Oh. 
Uh, maybe we can flank these guys on the back, maybe? Thank you. Alright, these guys have a lot of confidence for doing that. <laughs> they got a lot of confidence. Unbelievable. Just wait and see, man. We're, we're becoming super strong in the mid lane game. Uh, I mean in the lane game specifically, so just give it some time. We couldn't uh, theory TP down there. Alright, time to go back. We got like 2.7 currently. Let's get Infinity Edge. Sell that one. I'm just gonna go purely for raw damage. A broken heart. <laughs> I love how it is a moment where like woken down here. <laughs> I think they're assuming that I'm still bot lane, I think. <laughs> they're all like... They're coming bot lane with like full man. Ray coming in 15 seconds. I think that there's someone balling now, probably. Okay. Good. That's a Drake. Man, we got a lot of damage off on that one. So you see, like, just playing it very safe definitely pays off with Yone. You know, even if your team is doing very bad. Good. Let's go back to mid. So yeah, you can kind of get the picture. Uh, before we go for this ta uh, for the tower, I'm just gonna go for this. And we get the red buff. Hopefully it's there. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're coming topside. I wish I could fight that Graves. I definitely would have pressed my E on Graves there, um, if, you know, the enemy team was staying at mid. But like, when I was taking this game, I saw these guys pathing topside. The next item we go for is going to be this one. So once again, we're just going to go for more crit and lifesteal. And then the final item is going to be a Guardian's Angel. And that should give us like, you know, team fighting potential. Um, which, you know, <laughs> we don't need that right now. We're just going to stack like full damage. That will do fine. As long as we're like not the primary target in the enemy team, then it's all good. I'm gonna play very slowly in team fights, so that's not gonna focus me as much. Oh, apparently this Lee left the game. Okay. Not sure what happened. But, uh, I think he probably DC'd. Hello there, yes. <laughs> I always find it so funny, like, how you guys are, like, naming uh, some of the items, man. <laughs> I'm gonna sell my... Don't want to play it. There we go. Get the full damage. Nope. Uh, quick questions. Is there like a difference between 60 ping and like 180 ping? Of course, man. You're talking from like... You're talking about a difference from like day to like night time, man. 
60 ping and like 180 ping, man. 180 ping is nearly unplayable, man. I've played with 100 ping in the past for temporarily, you know, on the PvE server like a couple months ago, and it was close to unplayable. Appreciate it. <laughs> Let's get the tower away. Now we have the, the blood thirst, so once we go back to base. Oh, the team is actually getting kills, which is very, very surprising. Apparently the Silas is trying to fight us here. It's not going to work for him. I think we can probably continue pushing to the tower if the, if they cancel it. See you later. Okay. My uh, <laughs> my support is kind of invaded, but uh, you know I, I couldn't really like tell him like what to do there. I, I was trying to like actively kill the kill the guy, but <laughs> that's not really working. I could have in theory killed the Silas if he didn't stopwatch. That was what I was looking out for. All right, let's go back. Drake spawning in 15, apparently. To save someone, you must fight them. Okay, they know where I'm standing. Fine, sure. Wow. My team is not ready for the Drake at all. I could have TP'd down here, but... Got no one there. Got the stopwatch. Okay, all we need right now is having the team like group grouping up as five and then just force like one single team fight and it should be a win. Race top set. Let's see if we can get this camp now. Wait a second. Okay, didn't work. <laughs> if we had a jump off there, it would have been great. Absolutely. Maybe there's a rep off we can take, perhaps. Looking for the L1 against me. Interesting. I don't know what he's doing. Like, he can never compete against me. Ever. Won't happen. If my team stays in mid lane and they force, like, another fight against them, I think that we set a fair chance to win. You know, especially with bot lane being pushed in like this, we have the inhib already. Hello, Katarina. Wait a second. Yeah, we can't stay from for much more. They're coming down here. Maybe we can try to one hit them with a with an ultimate. At most. They're not gonna pass through probably. I don't think they do. Okay, so yes, yeah, she was sitting in the back, she knew it. Eh, 
too bad. I was kind of hoping to get more done. We got the rule like super fast. Like my ultimate didn't even help. Oh! What was that, man? That guy just eat into us on accident. Okay. Well, that's gonna be the game, probably. Uh, the loot is respawning soon. We can just force this one instead. Hello, Lulu. <laughs> she can do anything. This one's free one. I can I can sustain back up faster than she would be able to do anything. <laughs> yep. Either way, this is Yon Toppling. Thank you for watching today's YouTube video. And I will see you the next one. Peace.